As of early 2025, Chinese authorities report record deployments of advanced tree planting robots across arid regions, marking an accelerated push in reforestation and desertification control. New government initiatives have expanded green corridors in previously barren areas, reaffirming China's commitment to combating climate change. These developments set the stage for a story that has captivated both domestic and international attention. At first glance, one might wonder why robots are needed to plant trees. The answer lies in the urgent challenges of global warming and climate change, which demand innovative solutions to restore our planet. Reforestation has long been recognized as a vital countermeasure, and in recent years China has spearheaded a remarkable green revolution across its vast, arid deserts. Once synonymous with relentless desertification, these regions have been transformed into thriving green barriers through a combination of human ingenuity and cutting-edge technology. In the latter half of 2024, a groundbreaking ecological initiative reached a historic milestone. A continuous green belt spanning 3,460 kilometers was completed around China's desert regions, as confirmed by detailed U.S. satellite remote sensing data. This unprecedented ecological shield, enveloping a desert that stretches over 3,000 kilometers, stands as a testament to human ingenuity and determination in the fight against nature's harshest forces. The secret behind this immense green wall lies in the fusion of human innovation and advanced technology. China has invested in approximately 8,000 cutting-edge sand control robots, machines that autonomously plant seedlings, improve soil structure, deliver precise irrigation, and manage the entire reforestation process far more efficiently than manual labor. Each robot is programmed to plant 160 seedlings per acre in only 20 minutes, achieving a pace over 10 times faster than traditional methods. When news of this breakthrough spread, nations battling desertification showed keen interest in adopting China's transformative technology to reshape their own environmental futures. China's long battle against desertification is a story of resilience and resourcefulness. Before the 21st century, desertified land covered an astounding 2.61 million square kilometers, nearly one-third of the nation's territory. The Taklamakan Desert, known as the Sea of Death, epitomized this challenge, covering roughly 330,000 square kilometers, comparable to the entire landmass of Japan. Its towering sand dunes, some exceeding 200 meters in height, could shift dramatically overnight under fierce winds. These sandstorms not only disrupted agricultural production in neighboring regions, but also buried roads and railways, crippling transportation networks. In response, China embarked on the ambitious Three North Shelter Belt System project as early as the last century. The goal was simple to stem the tide of desertification by creating a living barrier around the Taklamakan. Mobilizing nearly 200,000 workers, with military support in the harsh desert interior, the project initially employed a rudimentary yet effective method. Workers would bury hay 15 to 20 centimeters into the sand, leaving only a narrow strip exposed to stabilize shifting dunes. Meanwhile, scientists developed drought-resistant plant varieties, specifically engineered to thrive in such extreme conditions, setting the stage for ecological restoration. By 2010, after more than four decades of afforestation, China had transformed approximately 6.7 million hectares of desert land. Although effective, these traditional methods were labor-intensive and financially demanding. With most desert areas far from urban centers, workers could only lay about 300 square meters of grass grids per day while the combined cost of saplings, water, and labor reached approximately $310 per acre. Given the enormity of the challenge, controlling even one-third of China's decertified lands required astronomical investment. Facing these hurdles, China shifted its focus to mechanization. By 2021, prototypes of desert prevention robots were being tested in real desert conditions. Following successful trials, by 2024, a range of automated tree planting machinery was introduced, and by February 24, 2025, 8,000 desert control robots were actively deployed. These machines now play a pivotal role in the ongoing Three Norths Protective Forest Project, which boasts an afforestation area of 480 million acres. The operational efficiency of these robots is extraordinary. 
using sophisticated cluster local joint control technology. Groups of five robots work together to plant trees across about 180 acres per day. Each robot precisely sows 160 saplings per acre in 20 minutes, equivalent to planting one tree every 10 seconds. An AI-driven visual analysis system guides them to the optimal planting spots, automatically navigating around obstacles like shifting dunes and gullies. Designed to operate under extreme conditions, from scorching heat and intense ultraviolet radiation to violent sandstorms, these robots feature rugged bodies, advanced cooling systems, and robust power supplies. Each unit is led by a high-performance engine-powered puncher that drills a one-meter deep hole in the sand, after which the team injects water and plants the seedling with exacting precision. These sand control robots also exhibit impressive agility, navigating slopes of up to 25 degrees and operating steadily on inclines of up to 12 degrees. Their precise positioning technology and innovative irrigation-free seedling method yield survival rates of 70% to 80%, a dramatic improvement over earlier techniques. Today, nearly 50% of the afforestation and sand control work under the Three Norths project depends on such advanced equipment. Costing around $30,000 on average, these machines deliver work efficiency over 10 times that of human labor while reducing costs by more than 40%. Where a three-person team once managed two acres per day, a single operator with modern self-propelled grass grid sand barrier equipment can now cover 20 acres. By the end of 2023, China had built a 2,761-kilometer green sand barrier around the Taklamakan Desert. A year later, by the end of 2024, this barrier reached its full length of 3,460 kilometers, marking the successful implementation of the locking edge closure strategy for the Taklamakan Green Sand Barrier Project. According to data from China's forestry department, the Three Norths project has achieved deforestation across 480 million mu and managed 1.28 billion mu of degraded grassland. This transformation marks a dramatic shift from the past, when sand advanced and people retreated, to an era where green advances and sand retreats. Over the past 30 years, artificial oases around the Taklamakan have expanded from 65,000 square kilometers to 100,000 square kilometers, a 54% increase that underscores the project's success. China's innovative use of sand control robots has revitalized not only the Taklamakan desert, but also arid regions across the nation. To date, more than 68 billion trees have been planted in desert areas, rejuvenating approximately 4.45 billion mu of barren land. Closed protection measures now cover 26.5 million mu of decertified land, while over 50 demonstration zones for sand prevention and control, along with 26 desert ecosystems, leverage advanced technology to ensure lasting success. Internationally, China's achievements have garnered widespread acclaim. Since joining the United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification in 1994, China has emerged as a global leader in this field, playing a key role in advancing the UN's 2030 goal of zero land degradation. At the 16th Conference of the Parties to the UNCCD in Riyadh at the end of 2024, China's desert control successes were showcased on a global stage. This major event, the largest of its kind, provided Chinese experts a platform to present the groundbreaking results of the Three Norths project and exchange ideas with dignitaries and specialists from over 100 countries. International cooperation in this field is not new. Even before the UNCCD conference, representatives from countries such as Mongolia, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, Uzbekistan, Iraq, South Africa, Morocco, Somalia, and Yemen had visited China to study its advanced sand control technology. Experts from these nations hailed China's sand control robots as a beacon of hope, a revolutionary tool that dramatically improves efficiency and survival rates in desert reforestation. For many Middle Eastern and African countries, facing desertification challenges similar to the Taklamakan, this technology represents a much-needed lifeline. China's green revolution is not merely a national triumph. It offers a replicable model and a global promise. By transforming barren deserts into thriving ecosystems, these tree-planting robots provide a clear, tangible solution to environmental challenges. As countries around the world grapple with desertification and climate change, 
The lessons learned from China's extensive efforts offer hope that even the harshest landscapes can be revitalized through the power of innovation and determination.